everyone, I hope you're all having a really super day today. It is officially springtime, hence why I'm in such a good mood. I've said it so many times, but spring is by far my favourite season of all the seasons. I love the clothes, I love the weather, I love the beauty trends, I just love everything about spring. So I think I'm going to be doing a lot more kind of spring themed videos over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I just thought I'd stick that one out there. Going to be doing a lot of spring things over on my YouTube channel. If you don't want to miss any of them, then make sure you are subscribed. I'll put a little button here so you can subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I'm really hoping to get to 15,000 subscribers soon. So yes, please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. This month's favourites, my March favourites, um, is quite high end, I have to say. A lot of these products are quite luxurious, not for any particular reason, just they happen to be the ones that I've been loving using this month. So to make up for it, I'm going to be doing a drugstore springtime makeup tutorial really, really soon, so keep your eyes open for that. I need to change position because I went to the gym this morning and did like my thighs, and oh my god, they burn, I'm going to sit on a cushion. <laughs> oh, that's better. Okay, back to my favourites. So the first thing in my favourites is probably the most high-end thing and it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now you guys, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, will probably have heard all about this before but for me this is quite a new discovery. I actually had never tried Giorgio Armani makeup before this month and out of everything that I was really kindly sent, this is by far my favourite product, definitely like a standout product. I've just been using this every single day since I got it. I took it to Hong Kong with me this month. If you haven't seen my Hong Kong Outfit Diaries vlog, I will link that down below because it's a really fun video. Um, took this with me to Hong Kong, so kind of put it through its paces when it comes to humidity and dry after aeroplane skin. And all the time I was there and when I was back home, just been loving the effect that this gives. I'm wearing it right now, I'm not sure how it's coming up on camera, but um, in real life it's quite a beautiful glowy foundation, even if you've got quite dry skin. As I said, mine was quite dry after getting off the aeroplane, but this just gave such a lovely glow. Coverage wise, it's a good coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup, which again, I absolutely love. Um, and I find it very quick and blendable to apply, so you don't need to spend ages making sure you've got everything blended in. I never get any marks, which weirdly I've been noticing more with my tinted moisturisers recently. It is an expensive product, but I've just been really loving how this looks on my skin. I really like the packaging as well, um, and I'm really looking forward to trying out more from Giorgio Armani. So I'll let you know how I get along with everything else. Underneath the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, I've been applying this primer, and it's a brand which I think is quite a new launch. It's called Om Skincare or OM Skincare, and I've seen this in Space NK, which kind of to me is always the seal of approval, the kiss of approval, if you will, that it's a really good brand. So this is available in Space. NK and this is their Invisible Finish Primer in SPF 40 um, with UVA and UVB protection for all skin types and firstly it was the SPF 40 that really impressed me because I've just been really conscious recently, I'm always conscious of it, um, but even more so recently now the sun is actually coming out, I'm using natural daylight to film this video so hopefully it's alright, but the sun is out. Um, which means that we really need to be extra, extra, extra careful about protecting our skin. We don't want to be getting any kind of skin problems when we're older or even in the near future from sun damage. So the SPF 40 in this is what makes me really love it. But um, other than that, it's a really good primer. So basically it's almost like a tinted moisturiser. It's definitely got some colouring and blurring effects to it when you first put it on. Um, and it acts as a really nice base for your makeup. On days when I'm staying at home, I'll just apply this because as I said, it does give a lovely finish, but it also works really well underneath the Giorgio Armani Silk Finish Foundation and all my other foundations, to be honest. Overall, I just find that it makes my makeup last a really long time. It doesn't make my skin look oily or greasy or dry. It just gives a really good canvas basically everything that you want a primer to do. I've also got some serums um, and a beauty booster from this brand, but I want to give those a little bit um, of a testing for a bit longer before I let you know about them because they are skincare. But this I've been using for a few weeks and I've been really, really enjoying. Plus, I really like the packaging, white and gold, just very chic, and it looks really nice on my dressing table. So, big fan of this one from Om Skincare. Another super, oh gosh, what's going on there? <laughs> I just curled my hair like a few minutes before this video, so they're a little bit out of control. Um, back to skincare. So another really luxurious product which I have been absolutely loving using this month is this one, and it's not new to my collection at all. I just picked it up about a week or so ago and really reminded myself 
how flippin' amazing this is. And it's the Darfan 8 Flower Nectar Oil Cream. You've probably seen this on my blog and probably on my YouTube channel a few times now, but this is honestly, if you love products, like if you, when you spend a lot of money on skincare, you want to really feel like you're using an incredibly luxurious product, then this is absolutely the one. Not only does it have, I talk so much about the Darfan smell, but I just think it is so, ah, oh, so heavenly. But this smell is another level, like it's a really strong version of the Darfan smell, just so floral, so kind of, just the most luxurious spa smell you can imagine in your whole life. Even if you just walk past the counter and get a whiff of this, it really is. It's something else. So love the smell, that goes without saying. But also the consistency of this is absolutely unlike anything else that I have in my skincare collection. It's the oil cream, which is somewhat between an oil and a cream, as you might be able to guess. So if you haven't ever used oil in your skincare routine before, then it might be a nice way to kind of inject some oil into a skincare routine without going for a full oil. Texture-wise, it's quite hard to describe. I'd say a very light buttery texture, even kind of moussey, but without all the air bubbles. Um, and it's just absolutely heavenly to apply. It just goes on like it feels as pampering as a really thick, rich moisturiser, but it sinks in and it doesn't stick on the skin like a rich moisturiser would do. And the results, I just find that I wake up with lovely, fresh looking skin and healthy looking skin, which at the end of the day is what I want. So I have nothing bad to say about this. It is pricey, but oh my gosh, highly, highly recommend if you want to splurge on some skincare. Final uber luxury beauty product is this one and I think you will have seen this in, oh my god I've just noticed the biggest cobweb in that corner, you know when they're like black and dusty? Anyway, back to makeup, <laughs> I don't know why I was looking in that corner, I was just like whoa that's a big cobweb. Bronzer, Tom Ford bronzer, honestly look at this product, it is so gorgeous, I can't even hold it, it's so big, I absolutely adore the packaging of this, it's got this, woo, you can see my face there. <laughs> okay, that was an epic fail. Um, yeah, packaging of this is amazing. Whenever I go for a weekend away or traveling anywhere, this is a bronzer that comes with me. I took it to Hong Kong, I took it to wherever I went for a weekend break before that, I can't remember. Um, but the mirror in it is ginormous, which is so handy when you're traveling. The bronzer is such an amazing shade. It is impossible to make yourself look orange with this bronzer because it's such a rich and expensive looking colour. I can't describe it in any other way. I think I said that in the blog post about this. It just gives you, I mean it's the kind of makeup that you can tell is worth the money because it just gives such an amazing bronze colour. It's in the gorgeous white packaging which is Tom Ford's summer collection. I think this is actually last year's one because I got this a few months ago. I'm wearing it today but not too much. I've just swirled it all over the face but because it is quite, oh, quite a deep bronze, you can also use a smaller brush and do a little bit of contouring with it, but I just wanted an all over colour, so that's what I'm wearing today. Again, an expensive one, but one that in my opinion is so worth it, I'm absolutely in love with this. I think it even smells nice too. Okay, it doesn't have a smell, it's the Gelan products that smell amazing, but Tom Ford, this is just so beautiful, and it even has a little dust cloth for it, which is a sign of a truly overly luxurious product when it has its own dust cloth and I don't want it to get scratched so I keep it in there all the time. Okay, moving away from kind of facial beauty and onto hair beauty, I haven't included any hair products in a monthly favourites in quite a long time I don't think because although I've been trying a lot, nothing has been quite amazing enough for me to mention it in a favourites video which is literally like my top 10 products or things of the whole month but this however well and truly deserves its place within my favourites. I've actually been really loving using Kerastars as a whole this month um, which is the brand of this product. This is the Kerastars Elixir Ultime Oleo Complex Intra Silane. I never would call it that whole name, let's just call it the Elixir Oil Team. And it's basically a very light oil spray for your hair which you apply when your hair is damp and you're about to comb through it before a blow dry. Now when I get out of the shower my hair is always so 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 knotty, even if I go to like the gym or something and I'm going to shower there, I always have to take something with me to detangle my hair because it gets so knotty, especially kind of around the crown area, I just get like matted, you know when you stroke a dog too much and it gets matted, that's what my hair is like. This 
just instantly detangles it. I don't know how it works, but it's just such an incredible product. It's so light, it doesn't weigh the hair down, which is what I was a little bit concerned about um, when I thought about spraying an oil all over my hair as opposed to just applying a little bit in the ends. And it smells so good. There's a bit of a running theme with products that smell amazing this month, but this makes my hair I used it a few hours ago. It makes my hair smell so good. Again, really luxurious. It smells expensive. I hate saying that because it sounds really tacky, but you know when you just know, you just know that the product is a really good quality one. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's kind of separating. So the product that I've used is up to there at the moment, and it's like a light liquid there, and then the heavier oil has sunk to the bottom. So I just give it a good old shake up before I apply it. You can see that now it's more up to here. Um, Having said that it's up to here, I've been using this maybe three or four times a week for the past two months, So, and I apply it quite liberally because, as I said, dreadlock hair. So I apply quite a lot of this very often, and I'm really impressed that it's not gone down that much. So it just shows you how fine the spray is if you are worried about an oil really weighing down your hair. So I've been loving using that, and while we're on the topic of hair, a pair of straighteners have really been making me happy this month. These are by a brand called Cloud9, who I feel do not get enough blogger and YouTuber exposure and love because they are seriously good. So I actually met the PR girls that look after Cloud9 and they were telling me that the owner or founder of Cloud9 is the guy that actually was the founder of GHD. I hope I've got that right. Um, and he left GHD when the company sold and he obviously knew how to make amazing straighteners so he developed this brand. And compared to GHD, I like them as much if not more. And yeah, I know that's saying quite a bold statement. I love the colour of them, I love the work I love that they're black and white. The white is kind of a frosted material and the only downside I would say is that they are going to get foundation marks on them. Normally when I do my hair it's before my makeup. Um, but I did give them a little wipe down before this video because I already had a little bit of foundation or fake tan marks on them. So that's the only downside. Sorry if you can hear my um, phone pinging, I'm just going to put that on silent. Um, they do not have any buttons on them. The way that you turn them on once they're plugged in is by just slapping them together like that. And there are two temperature settings. And I'm not sure if you have to do like a double tap to change the temperature, but when I turn them on, they are at 195 degrees. There's just a little um, number in there which is illuminated. And for me, that seems like a really good temperature. It also says 165. Maybe that's just the warming up one. So they're super quick to warm up. They make a nice little noise within about three seconds. So that is absolutely crazy, speedy warm up time. They're super duper light as well. Like literally they are perfect for traveling because they're so light. Um, I don't have a bad thing to say about these. I curled my hair with them this morning. I'm not the best at curling my hair, but I think these are not too bad. And yeah, I just really, really like them and think that um, more people should consider getting cloud nine straighteners. Alrighty, so we've gone from beauty and skincare and makeup to hair, and now I'm going to go back to body. So there are a couple of things that I've been loving this month for body, first of which is this, and it's the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Moroccan Glow Body Polish Pre-Tan Exfoliator. Nice, short, catchy name we've got there. Um, no, seriously, you don't have to say all those words. Dr. Organic Body Polish is what this is, um, and it's mainly... I think it's been bought out as a pre-fake tanning product because they've also bought out an incredible range of fake tans with, within this whole Moroccan range. Um, but this is the pre-tan exfoliator and it says essential skin preparation body polish with micro particles of pure volcanic lava exfoliating, rejuvenating and smoothing. So this product is mostly natural ingredients, I don't want to say 100% natural because I'm not entirely sure, um, but it's free from parabens, synthetic colours, um, petrolatum, silicones, so generally it's a really good product, it's not full of loads of rubbish ingredients and it really 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 works. So this, sometimes I find if exfoliators have got nice big coarse bits like this one does, it's got the volcanic lava in it, sometimes I find they're just a little bit too drying on the skin, whereas the creamy kind of consistency that the exfoliating particles are held within is really nice and moisturising, so when I use it on my skin I feel like you don't have to choose between exfoliating or pampering, this does both. 
and it really does exfoliate without being too harsh on the skin which I've been really liking recently. So I've been using this every time I shower pretty much as well as exfoliating gloves if I am going to be tanning afterwards because then you just get the double hit of exfoliation. And it's nearly gone so I'm going to have to get a new one, I think they're from Boots and Superdrug. Um, yeah, just been really really enjoying using this. I think it's because of the is it macadamia nuts in this or something? I'm not sure what that picture is, let me have a look. Okay, so it says it's got sweet almond oil in it, so I'm guessing these are almonds. I think it's the oil presence within this that makes it so moisturising and means that even though you're exfoliating and not drying out the skin. So I think that's why I've been loving it so much, because it really does give your skin the best start if you're about to tan. Because if you're tanning either flaky or dry skin, it's not going to look good. So this is just a really super pre-tanning product, and I've really, really been enjoying using this this month, as has Charlie. And then following that, the fake tan or gradual tan I've been loving using on a regular basis. I've been enjoying using the Moroccan oil tan when I really want to get like a tan tan, but to have just a really nice glow throughout the whole month, I've been absolutely loving the Vita Liberata Marula Dry Oil Self Tan in SPF 50. So again, with the SPF, like 50 is really, really high, so it's really good for when you're in the UK, you're not like out there to get a tan or anything, and it's just great for being protected against sun damage. Um, but what I love about this is that it's very unusual because it's a dry oil fake tan, which I'd never even heard of before, let alone tried. So because it's an oil, it's just really lovely and pampering to use. It's a really nice thing to apply after a long hot bath or shower. When you put it on, the oil itself is actually very heavily um, tinted, so you do have a really nice colour straight away. So if you are going to go, maybe you're on holiday, take this with you, and you're about to go out in the evening to the beach, um, or wherever, you would already have a really nice colour straight away when you apply this and a teeny bit of shimmer as well which just looks absolutely gorgeous but it's also a gradual tan so I have to say that if I was to make any recommendations to this tan I would say I'd like it to be a little bit darker um, I mean this is the colour that I am now, I look super pale on screen but I'm actually not that pale I promise um, but I've been using this, as I said, pretty much every time I shower for the past two weeks and I would like to be a little bit darker but it's just a very very gradual tan so while it does make you look dark as soon as you put it on because of the dark oil it doesn't make you too dark actual tan wise if that makes sense but it's nice if you just want to slowly start building up a gradual tan maybe before you go on holiday then it really is a lovely product to use and it's a three-in-one because of the oil and that bronzes you um, the gradual tan and the SPF 50 and similarly to similarly <laughs> similarly to the um, body polish this is obviously a dry oil and oil as you guys know is really nice and moisturizing to the skin so it helps your tan last longer makes your tan look better and generally nice and moisturizing plus I really like the packaging of this it's a really nice kind of substantial glass bottle with a rose gold lid need I say any more um, and the product inside just looks really nice I always give it a good shake before I put it on but it's a really lovely bronze kind of metallic -y liquid in there. So I've really been loving using that this month. Okay, we're getting down to the last few products now. We have finished with the beauty. Another favourite of mine this month are my key, some people say quay, like surely it's key, like Florida keys, okay that's a different spelling. Anyway, these sunglasses have been an absolute favourite this month. You guys have probably seen them all over my Instagram, in hundreds of outfit photos on my blog. Hopefully you guys check my blog out every now and then. I do really nice outfit photos um, every now and then and beauty shots as well. But yeah, loving these sunglasses. They're kind of marble-ish. I think they're called like Sugar Spice on ASOS. I'll leave a link down below. Um, but I just love them. And do you know what else I love is that you can put them on top of your head and they don't get caught in my hair because they don't have the... I have major deja vu. I think I've said this all before. Maybe they were in last month's favourites. In which case, I still love them. If not, I'm going mad. But they don't have the toggles here, which means that even if I have my hair up, they don't get caught in my hair, which doesn't ruin your hairstyle. So that's a nice bonus. But I just love them. I think they're super big and fun. Maybe not the most flattering. I do look like a bit of a blue bottle fly, but... I really, really like them. They make quite a statement. They're marbly. They're just gorgeous. I love them. We cannot go past Easter and not include Easter eggs in our monthly favourites. Cream eggs are my favourite eggs in the world. <laughs> yes, I have a favourite egg. Cadbury Easter eggs. They can't be anything other than Cadbury. And for me, cream eggs are just the best thing in the world. So 
as soon as they went down in sale after Easter, Charlie and I have stocked up. We've got like a fridge full of cream eggs. Not too good for the pre-holiday diet, but hey-ho, they're amazing and they're only this big, so how bad can it be for you? Um, yeah, just thought I'd give a shout out to cream eggs this month. I've gone through quite a lot of them and I thought they were worthy of a shout out. I don't actually think I can hold this and not eat it, so just bear with me a moment. I just ate a considerable amount of foil. Okay, that took a lot longer than I anticipated to eat. Never try eating a cream egg when you're under pressure or on camera because it kind of took the fun out of it, not gonna lie. Anyway, on to my final favourite of the month and this is kind of two birds with one stone because since January you might know that I've been doing my favourite blogger mail of the month um, or favourite kind of thing that I've received over the month and this month it is a favourite item and also my favourite blog mail item of the month and it is this amazing, amazing nail polish set from L'Oreal Paris. So in here we have, actually I haven't even counted, we have 22 nail varnishes in this set and firstly this set itself is just absolutely gorgeous. We've got two kind of like plastic Muji drawers um, and inside two drawers of just the most beautiful coloured nail varnishes. You can see all the colours here. I'll do a little close up hopefully so you can see them even better. Um, so the colour range is just amazing. It's literally got me sorted for the rest of my life pretty much with nail varnish colours because I can't even think of a colour that I love that's not in here. There's so many nudes to choose from, so many pinks, corals, burgundies, even like random green and blue colours I wouldn't normally go for but gives me a good excuse to experiment with them. Aside from the huge amazing box, the actual packaging of the individual nail polishes as well I absolutely adore. They're beautiful kind of glass containers with a square, kind of square embossed, engraved, I don't know, a square pattern and a beautiful gold lid with the colour really clearly on the top in case you couldn't see it in the bottom. Um, but yeah, I just think the packaging of these is absolutely gorgeous. They're very chic, nothing too kind of crazy or out there shape-wise very simple and just absolutely stunning. The colours, as I mentioned before, I love. I'd say these ones here are my favourites, but also I have been wearing this one for the past. I'd say, I think I applied this just when the bank holiday weekend was starting, so about a week ago, and it is still going strong on my nails. We don't have any major chips. We have a little bit of, you know, when they kind of start to pull back at the tops. We have a little bit of that going on, but I have to say, I've had this on for nearly a week, I've painted the kitchen twice, that means I've had paint on my hands and I've been scrubbing my nails and they still have not chipped and I still haven't really felt the need to top them up. I will top them up because I'm going out for a nice dinner tonight, but I think it's incredible the lasting power of these nail varnishes. Really, really impressed. On the box it says La Venie à la Houle, which I think is a reference to oil. Um, so we have another little oil theme kind of going on in this video. But I think the oil properties within this may be what makes it last longer, but it does give the nails a really nice shine. Now it is a major selling point, it's saying intense colour oil shine. I wouldn't say they're like overly oily or overly shiny, I mean this is a lovely shine considering I didn't put a top coat on, but it's not like when you would get a shellac manicure or if you were to use something like a sesh feet top coat. Having said that, I haven't used a top coat and there is a clear gel, um, not gel, sorry, a clear nail varnish in here as well. So when I repaint my nails this afternoon and use the gel, I will probably have even more shiny nails. So if you'd like to see what do my nails look like with the top coat on, then follow me on Snapchat because I will show you over there. So absolutely love this amazing set from L'Oreal, very very grateful to have been sent this, uh, absolutely gorgeous. I will leave all the information about where you can buy these polishes, I think they're only available individually, I'm not sure that you can buy this set, but I will leave all the information for those down in the description box. So that is everything that I have been loving throughout the munch of, munch month, month of March. It is now April, which is just absolutely crazy. I know everybody's saying it, but where is 2016 going? I still haven't quite got my head around the fact that it's 2016. And it's almost April, but, well, it is April by the time you're watching this. On the plus side, that means that summer is nearly here and it's springtime and the sun's coming out, so it's all good. On that note, I am doing a few trips this month. I've got a few holidays planned, a few things with work as well. So make sure you're following me on Snapchat if you'd like to see where I'm going. And of course, I will be vlogging the trips as well. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss any of those. I think that's all the announcement kind of things I have to say to you this month. 
yep so that's all from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up if you have done because that makes me very very happy and why don't you leave me a comment in the comment section below as to what you've been loving this month maybe your top three products from this month and I will check them out if I haven't already so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video guys I'll see you in my next one bye